So this is the third video intro that I filmed uh, back to back to back because I was going to do a different intro for, for this one, but then I changed my mind. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, or just welcome if you are new. Today's video is for, it features a new to the scene indie brand that is created by a fellow swatcher, Judy. I will put their Instagram handle here. Uh, so I have their May releases. So I have um, the Swimsuit Runway Collection, I have their Polish of the Month, and I have their Limited Edition Polish of the Month. Um, so this is a really fun release featuring a new brand, Adored Colors. I hopefully had said that already. <laughs> um, it is available right now on the Adored Colors website. I will have that link down below. Um, okay, uh, let's just get into the video because I am just super chatty today. First up from the Swimsuit Runway Collection, this is Double Sided Bottoms. It's described as a light green with golden shimmer filled with a berry micro glitter. It's priced at $11. This has a great Crelly-like formula. It applied, it applied very smoothly, just a tiny bit unevenly on the first coat. The unevenness does uh, fix itself in the following coats. This has a literal ton of micro glitter in it, but it does not feel textured at all. Um, I found that the golden shimmer looks very green in this base. It looks like a, a vibrant minty type of uh, shimmer. And I think it paired really nicely with the base. I believe this polish is going to be a solid three coater on pretty much everyone. It still looks pretty sheer in two coats. Of course, if you don't mind sheer finishes, you could definitely just do two coats in this polish. It's totally personal preference. Um, the third coat does not seem to deepen the color very much, if at all. It just adds some more opacity. One coat of top coat smooths this out perfectly. Um, removal will be a little tricky from all of those glitters, but it shouldn't be too difficult, especially if you use the soak off method. Next up, we have Looking Cute by The Pool. This one is described as a medium yellow with a ton of plum square glitters and electric orange hex glitters. It's priced at $11. This had a really nice Crelly formula. It was slightly on the thicker side um, from what I would expect from a glitter Crelly, but not on the unusually thick side. I didn't need to add thinner or anything like that to this polish. Um, so this one is going to be opaque. I think it looks best in three coats. It was just a tiny bit too patchy for my liking in um, two coats. And I will note that this one does not like to be overworked. So when you are polishing with this, put it, just apply it on and then leave it alone. Do not overwork this polish. You will get um, little gaps in the layers. This polish, I would recommend holding the bottle upside down between coats to make sure that you get the larger orange hex glitters out on the nail. Um, I did do some glitter placement on a couple of nails to make sure I had the orange hexes where I want them. And, um... You might need two coats of top coat to smooth this one out completely. Removal will be on the tricky side, so I recommend soaking it off or wearing a peel-off base coat. The final polish from the Swimsuit Runway Collection is My Bikini Is Not Peach. This one is described as a pastel neon orange with UCC flakies that shift from purple to blue to red. It's priced at $11.50. This one had a great formula. It's actually my favorite from the Swimsuit Runway collection. Uh, this rode the line between a Crelly and a Jelly polish, in my opinion. The flakies all spread out evenly and easily on their own, and I love, 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 loved this polish. It was really, really beautiful. Um, it's leaning a little bit more um, creamsicle orange here in the live swatch. My swatch photos are going to be the most color accurate representation of this polish that I am able to produce. This one is bright. It's super beautiful. This is kind of polish I want to wear on my toes all the time. I loved it. <laughs> I think this one looked best in uh, two to three coats. Shorter nails might be able to get away with uh, two coats. I went in for three and it was absolutely perfect. Nothing in here dried down textured or was difficult to remove. This next polish is called Birthday Bash. It is Judy's birthday month. So this is the polish of the month for the month of May. Uh, so Birthday Bash is described as a shimmery purple base 
filled with yellow and clementine hex glitters with green glitter shreds. It's priced at $11. This had a great jelly-like formula. It is on the sheer side, so you will definitely want to build this one up. Um, it is sheer enough that in one coat, I think it could be used as a topper over a variety of base colors. The glitters and the shreds all spread out evenly and easily on their own. I did not need to do anything special um, to get them out, on, out in the bottle. Um, I did run this one through my nail polish shaker before using it, but I do that with literally every polish. Um, I did not hold the bottle upside down between coats for this one. While this one is not my favorite, I don't really love glitters in this type of base. I do really like how unique this polish is. Um, I'm using three coats, and here on my thumb you can see in one coat over black. I used one coat of top coat and that smoothed this one out perfectly fine. Um, you might need two coats depending on your top coat. Removal will be tricky from all of those glitters and the shreds, so I recommend soaking it off or using a peel off base coat. And the final polish is the limited edition polish of the month. This one is called Heaven Has a New Angel. This one is described as a pure shimmer slash pearly white with black hollow glitter shreds. It's priced at $11. Uh, this had a great formula. It was a little bit streaky and patchy on the first two coats, but the third coat does get that nice and evened out. And I found that after adding top coat, it evens it out even more. Um, the hollow shreds, I found that they weren't super holographic in this base. Like a few of the shreds on my final coat did show some hollow, but for the most part, this wasn't a super holographic polish. However, I also did not check this one out in the sunlight. It was raining the day I swatched these. I would definitely recommend keeping the bottle upside down between coats with this polish. Um, if you don't, you won't get a ton of those shreds on the nail. They do seem to sink. Removal will be rather tricky from all of those shreds. Alrighty. So uh, for my favorite um, polishes from this release, uh, number one would be My Bikini Is Not Peach from the Swimsuit Runway Collection. I'm a sucker for corals, like these peachy coral colors. I love them and I love the flakies. Number two would be uh, Looking Cute by the Pool. I really like, come on, it's yellow. I, oh, <laughs> I'm saying this so much, I feel so repetitive. It's yellow, I love it, I love the glitters. Um, the orange glitters, you do need to like give it a good shake, maybe even hold it upside down between coats to make sure you get the orange glitters on the nail. But even with that, I thought it was really, really fun. I love this polish, it's super pretty. This is a really fun release, from, especially from a new brand. Um, a few of the other polishes weren't my particular jam, but I think they were still really good polishes anyway. And I am very excited to see what else this brand comes up with in the future. Oh, I almost forgot to mention this. Um, this brand, because it is Judy's birthday uh, this month, there will be sales going on for the entire month, um, and this collection is available right now. So I would love to know, are you picking anything up? Have you picked anything up? What was your favorite polish from this release? Um, definitely check this brand out, Judy. I will talk to you on the next one. Hope you have a wonderful weekend, and sorry if you could hear Wayne mowing the lawn. <laughs> Talk to you all later. Bye.